Hi there, I just purchased a Raspberry Pi 400. I will put a link below for it. It's a nice little desktop computer running on a Linux. It's actually the Raspberry owns operating system. And I had some initial problems with it. So what I did was I plugged in the power for it. I use another cable and I use a power supply, which was a little five volt one I found. And what was happening was the screen kept rebooting when it was trying to load and the light here kept flashing. So I didn't know what the issue was. I thought maybe the operating system didn't load properly on the flash drive, which is in the back there, that green flash drive. And what I decided to do after some research on the internet, they said it was probably a power issue. So I decided to change the cable first of all to one of these braided cables and that didn't solve the problem so what I did next was I changed the power supply to a spare one that I had which seems to offer more power so as soon as I did that it started to load and it seems to be working now what I also did was in the back of this there's some micro HDMI cables which would be this one here where I'm pointing and this I'm using an old monitor which is HDMI so I had to purchase a dongle this one and it is about 16 17 dollars on Amazon I'll put a link and this allows you to connect to older type monitors this is a Dell monitor TV and it's probably 20 years old so I didn't want to spend a lot of money buying a cable and then getting a different monitor so I just decided to buy this dongle for 17 dollars and try to get it to work and um, it also has a line out cable which is right here so I could hook up some speakers as well and um, I haven't done so yet but I will probably do so later and here it is so it just asked me to set up some defaults like the US keyboard and the language and then asked me to connect to the Wi-Fi and then it's doing some updates and it asked me to change the password if I wanted to which I decline at this time. I'll probably change it later on. And um, so far it seems to be working. So I'm going to get on the internet afterwards and I'll be able to surf the internet and try YouTube and so on. I purchased this just to try it out. I didn't really want to. I wanted to see what the Raspberry Pi offered. And um, so far it's very neat. I paid I think $76 for this. And um, you know it seems really relatively sturdy. It's not f flimsy as I would have expected. And um, it also contains Bluetooth and it has a network cable RJ45 jack for networking and several USB 3s and it could also accommodate dual monitors which I thought was pretty cool. Here's one, here's the other. And then there's also a, you could add accessories to the Raspberry through this rubber covering you could take it off and you could add some additional items to it so all in all I thought it was a so far seems pretty cool and um, we'll see what happens let me know what you think